Unraveling the Mind, The Art of Searching One's Memory. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, search one's memory. This phrase is not only common in everyday conversations but also rich in meaning, offering a window into how we talk about recollection and the mind. So, if you've ever wondered about this intriguing expression, you're in the right place. When we say, search one's memory, we're talking about the process of trying to remember something. Imagine your mind as a vast library, filled with books of all the events, facts, and experiences you've ever encountered. Now, think of yourself as a librarian in this library. When you search your memory, you're essentially walking through the aisles of your mind, looking for a specific book that contains the information you need. This phrase beautifully captures the effort and sometimes the struggle involved in trying to recall something. It's not just a passive act of remembering. It's an active process, almost like detective work inside your own head. Search one's memory can be used in various contexts. Whether you're trying to remember a name, a place, or an event, this expression is applicable. For example, you might hear someone say, I'm searching my memory for where I've seen this person before. It's a versatile phrase that fits well into both casual and more formal conversations. Additionally, this expression emphasizes the effort being made to recall something, which can add a layer of empathy or understanding in conversations. It acknowledges that sometimes remembering can be hard work. For English language learners, mastering phrases like, search one's memory, can add depth to your conversations and help you sound more fluent. Here are a few tips. Practice using it in sentences or when telling stories. Listen for the phrase in movies, TV shows, or conversations to get a sense of its usage in different contexts. Pair it with other memory-related expressions to enrich your vocabulary, such as, jog my memory, or it slipped my mind. Remember, learning a language is all about exploring new ways to express ideas and emotions. The phrase, search one's memory, is just one example of the rich expressions available in the English language that describe the complex workings of our minds. We hope this video has illuminated this expression for you and perhaps even inspired you to delve deeper into the language. Keep practicing, stay curious, and as always, thank you for watching.